Hello and welcome to the third lesson of my Vanilla Doom series. This one is going to be the main focus of using action specials to do special effects such as doors and teleports and lifts and exit switches and all that good stuff. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to new map. And this is pretty much should be simple stuff by now. Okay. It okay? Alright, now we're ready to go. Um, so what we're going to do in this lesson is basically create a level using every bit of, well not every bit, but most bits of these specials, basically so you can get an idea to understand them. So we'll go ahead and go to sector mode, press your insert key, we'll go ahead and drag out a uh, sector here. Let's go ahead and make it by uh, 512 and 512 this way too. Okay, 512 all the way around. Okay, there's one room. Um, now, what we're going to do, just to save time, we're going to go ahead and co click this room. Control C or edit, copy. And Control V or edit and paste. And we're going to put about a 32. Remember, this is down to 8, so 4 is going to equal 32. And like I said before in previous lessons, you'll get pretty much used to the incre increments on the grid. So now we have two rooms here. Okay. Now, guess what we're going to make between these two rooms? That's right. We're making a door. Okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead right here in the middle. We'll connect these two sectors right here and make it 128 because 128 is your standard door um, and we go square in between these two sectors okay with that done we'll go ahead and press make sure you're in sector mode and make one right here in the middle okay now this is basically going to serve as your door this sector here in the middle these sectors on the outside basically if your ceiling is higher than 128 these these ceilings right here will even out the ceiling between the door so that way your door texture will look right which it makes well it's easier to explain like while we're texturing it and stuff like that but basically this door okay you see the ceiling is at 128 down here by the uh, properties so we'll right click that and we'll put that down to zero and I like to go ahead and there's floor texture you know uh, select a nice bottom for the door the, the normal one is usually probably this one right here so just select that which uh, you know what I just realized I made a mistake because we brought down the ceiling so what we want to do is put it on the ceiling and have the floor be normal Okay, with that done, now, pretty easy to make a door in Vanilla Doom. Um, roll of thumb, whenever you make a door, make sure these, they have special door tracks for making a door. Um, and they're actually called door track, door the door track, and then they have door stop. I, I like door stop better. It, it's all about preference, self-preference. Hit OK, select that. And you want to always lower unpeg your door track, door stops, whatever you want to call them. Because if you don't, that door uh, track will move with your door and it will not look like it's sliding along the tracks of a door track. If that makes any sense to you. Okay, next thing you want to do is notice how these sides are facing in. Those must be facing out in order for a player to use. And it's the same thing with teleports. To walk over a teleport, you guys got to be facing out. So right click those, okay, let's go ahead and select the door texture here, um, that works fine, alright, and guess what, we're going in 3D mode, just so we can have a look, remember I'll go ahead and add a 3D mode start, so we're looking straight at the door when we come in, and W, and switching to 3D mode, and here we are, 3D mode, I'm going to go ahead and brighten this up a bit, see if we can't make it where users can see a little bit better here um... Oh, okay um... alright now there's a door right okay I'll lift it up make sure everything is good to go with it and okay now we see how the door is going to go from each side this is basically just showing you a quick representation showing that the the door is there and we created it okay but 
there's one more thing we must do before it actually shows the does the operations of a door and that is to click both of these and I think it is line def action one and there it is you see the DR door open wait close um, you can also so you can type in your action or you can also select which one you want and you got your different things up here switch is basically what the player will press use on and it's basic switch walk over means your player is going to walk over it to activate it gunfire is just shot with any weapon um, door is basically direct which is means that the player uses that itself it's pretty much used for doors um, and then you have your repeatable and you have once and uh... that's basically means repeatable basically means you can do it as many times as you want and once basically means only once. That's it. Just once. Um, they, have, they have two d uh, uh, door tags for Doom, uh, vanilla Doom, basically. One is fast, but it won't allow monsters, and the other is just uh, normal speed, and it allows monsters to open doors. So basically, we'll just do that basic one. And with this, you won't need a sector tag because it's a basic door actual door tag so you won't need it there when you get to using text teleports and stuff like that we're gonna use our tags so just to show you that this worked and to test out to see how well this software is gonna do with 3d or test play mode um, give me just a minute I'm gonna go ahead and be in game in just a second give me just a minute Okay. okay, we're basically in game here. Um, I don't know how choppy this is. Hopefully, it's not too choppy on your screen. But now we can see our door. And we come up here, press use, and you can see it opens just like a normal door. Okay. See, so it's pretty easy to create a door once you get used to it, especially in Vanilla Doom, because pretty much you just got to go into your actions uh, special there and just type 1. And that's basic door opening. So it's, I mean, it gets a little more technical when you get to learning ZDoom and stuff but it's all pretty much simple once you get learn learning it okay so that's our door um, we'll go ahead and get out of that and alright back in Doom Builder okay so now we are going to learn to create a two-way teleport and basically what I'm going to do is put a teleport on one side of the room and then the other one in the other room. And we'll go ahead and put it in the corner. Just for simplicity. Um, we'll go ahead and put it right here in the corner. Just so make a 64 by 64 square. Make sure you make it on the grid because this grid basically defines what the texture on the bottom is going to look like. Um, so right click that. Okay. And we're going to move it up to okay and okay press tab to get that okay um and we'll come down here to one of the gates uh, you could use easily use one of these if you want but uh, gates definitely give it the, or that hell look or stuff you know um so we'll go to this gate three okay and the ceiling's gonna be pretty much we'll just look the ceiling the same um and go into lines mode and you'll notice these textures are missing because once you move a text, uh, sector up the bottom textures of it will need to be textured to get a better representation of this I'll go into 3D mode and you can see over here no, oh, I'm in the wrong room over here uh, when I basically added this made this go up these bottom need to be textured with a certain te within a texture period um, I pretty much what pretty much goes with it is a metal texture and that's this one right here. Okay. Now with that done, I mean we could go and as far as to now that that sector is by itself, we could click on the top of it and go as far as to add a light. And remember, you could do it in 2D or 3D moving uh, floors, which the advantage of 3D you'll see here in a second because I'll come in here and select another texture for the top. Um, and this is just a tutorial, so it's, it's probably just pick one texture, it doesn't matter. Okay, now that we got that, notice how this wall here 
looks different than this one. To get a better idea of this, I'll go ahead and make it a uh, the te green texture. See if I can't show you that it's off now. Um, and I'm somewhat a perfectionist. Gotta have this all the same texture. <laughs> so give me a minute. Let me texture it. All right, done with that. And you'll see here that the walls are not matching. Now remember, you hold Shift, press A. Voila, we fixed it. It's fixed. Okay, so now that that's done, you might want to brighten up your text, your sector there a bit. Um, just give it a little more realism. Now we'll make an opposite text. We'll make a another teleport on the opposite side of the room. But remember, in 3D mode, you cannot create sectors. So we'll go ahead and go out of 3D mode. Come over here. Up. Oh, see. Now look. You see how this is not sitting on the uh, the grid right. The grid is uh, not hitting the thing at all. So let me show you, give you a quick idea of what's going to happen here because this is not sitting on the grid correctly. Okay, I'll press W to go into 3D mode, show you the representation. Oh, wrong one. Okay, this one right here. Go ahead and uh, raise that, lower that, put top texture, and this is where it gets really quick when you're texturing because you just come click and grab. Um, you notice that the bottom texture is now misaligned. And I'll go ahead and add these because wall textures don't have anything to do with the grid, so you can pretty much be good with those. Oops. Okay. Um, you notice how the floor texture has now been like destroyed. So what we're gonna do to fix that is go back out and we'll go ahead. And like I said, this is not a, this is not meant to be perfect. So uh, these rooms are not going to be the same size anymore. Oh, see, got to select all the sides there, and you can right drag it over and fix it to the grid. Now, if I go in and look, it's completely fixed. Okay. And all right, now we got both the teleports created. It's pretty simple stuff. Now we want to link them together. Now to do this, we'll go ahead and click on the 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 sides to basically you want the player to walk over when he teleports, and you flip them using the flip line defs or line def uh, you know out of the menu option of lines and flip them, and you make sure you do this with both the ones that you're going to walk over. Don't flip on the outside walls because then you'll end up with sometimes you'll end up with an error like that. Um, once that's flipped, just the lines the player's gonna walk over. If you were had it in the middle, you'd have you have to flip all four. That way, if the player walked over any of them. Okay, now select. Let's select the top left ones. Right click. Okay. Now, what action do we want? Okay, we want teleport. Okay, we don't want it. We want to be able to teleport more than once. So we'll go ahead and go through this. And notice it says monsters, it, monsters only, and then a regular teleport. Monsters will still be able to use this teleport unless you put a monster block around it, which basically is a. I'll show you later what that line is. Basically, it makes it where monsters can't pass it. It's real simple to do. Okay, we'll put teleport here, and since it's not happening directly to this sector here, um, pretty much vanilla. All it, all they have is door anyway. Um, since it's not directly happening to this sector we gotta add a sector tag to tell it where it's gonna go Okay, so just click next unused and it should be one click OK alright now we tell this it's going to sector one Okay. now everything pretty much is lined sector when it comes to action specials so this line is gonna have to go to this sector now to do that press the S to get in the sector right click the sector and hit next available and I always just push one down either that you could have just put one but it's always easier just to hit the next unused button and just press down it's just simple easy way to do it okay now we have these two sectors linked okay we got this one linking to this one as you can tell you put your mouse over the sector you see the two line depths light up on there um, but this one doesn't link back so if a player walks over this it's not going back okay um, so we'll select this and hit next on you. Oh, we'll go ahead and do this action special, which I could have looked over here. Uh, I could have looked over here to, and just typed 97 because that's already defined there. And we're using the same teleport thing to teleport back to that sector. And I know uh, I can't help but think I'm confusing some people right now. <laughs> I hope I'm not. Okay. 
So we'll click next on use, number two. Okay. And come over here and make this sector number two. Remember, next on use, one down. Okay, now if you done correctly, you can highlight the sector and you can see when you do each line def lights up. But believe it or not, these two are not actually connected yet. Because even if the player spawns in that sector, it does not know where to spawn in that sector. So we got to define that. And how do we define that? Well, go into Things mode, click Insert. Okay, right click that. And there should be an option Teleport, Teleport Destination. Now, whatever way this thing is facing is what, play, what way the player will be facing when he comes out of the teleport. We'll have this one face 350 angle or 315 angle. Hit diagonal, hit OK. All right, and there we go. See him facing down that way, and on the other side, we'll do the same thing, and flip it the other way around. Okay, now do another test, and keep in mind that if you do this much editing, you might want to save because this Dome Builder is not completely perfect, or not Dome Builder, uh, Z Doom and or engines period aren't completely perfect. They could crash or whatever. Um, just now you walk through, and you can see that I can go either way, you know, and it teleports me through each room, and you can see the teleport. See, you can see the fog. Okay, now to show you that actually works. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is make a damage sector. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go into sectors mode. Click insert, and I'm going to make a big, large sector right here. And about what I would like to think is the middle of the room, although it looks completely off. But it's fine, it's for, just for demonstrations anyway. Um, I'll just mess with it a little bit. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just make it a little pit, I guess. Um, right there, that looks good. Alright, now um, from here. We'll go ahead and move this two down, which I'll go ahead. I usually do all this stuff in 3D mode anyway, which you notice I don't know what room I'm in right now because both rooms look the same. I got no clue which room I'm in. So to fix that, make sure I, that 3D mode, start, pull it to the pool, which I just happened to be in the right uh, room that time. I could have been in this room for all I know, but either way, I pulled the 3D mode start there, press W, and I can drop this down too and I know where it is so I'll go ahead and go into flats here and select nukage alright well the nukage pool is defined and we'll go ahead and texture this with a simple texture um, I'll even use the metal for this just to have a texture real quick okay now that that's done go ahead and press W again but Defining the floor like that still doesn't make it a damage sector. It just puts a texture on there. Um, so to make it a damage sector, what we'll do is right-click on it and special effect, and you can do a two, two or uh, a five percent damage, a ten percent damage, or twenty-seven percent damage uh, per second, pretty much. So we'll go ahead and just do the ten. Um, so we also got a and then light light blinks and stuff like that. Um so we'll just do the five. Okay. Hit okay. And remember since it's happening to the sector, as you pretty much don't have to use that if you're gonna do a, a define a sector or something like that. A sector uh, effect. So hit okay. Alright, now go ahead and test this real quick in game. And we can walk over here. And you can see I'll step in the pool and I'll instantly start dying. See, now we see damage sectors aren't that hard really. Okay, we'll quit this again. Okay. And I think I'm gonna cut it off there and make a part two to this because this is getting kinda long. I don't know, it's planning to be this long. So uh this is the end of part one. I'll make a part two.